rapper. Only stack rapper that you know is stack rapper. You went on China Max live stream. Yes. For what reason? Who the fuck knows? Okay. But you went on China Max live stream. Yeah. And he attempted to pull a prank. Yeah. On you. Yeah. And that prank was the result of you guys ending your friendship. Well, we ended our uh, business relationship. Business relationship. I, I don't. I don't have anything against China Mac. And right. if he hit me, I mean, we actually posted up some of his stuff afterwards, so I don't have animosity right. towards him, but it ended our business relationship. Why? Okay. So, <clears throat> I was the first person to put China Mac on the internet. Right. His first ever interview was on Vlad TV. He had just gone out of prison over the shooting of Jin's friend, and he came in and told the story, and that went viral. That was the way he approached Jim, yeah, Jim, yeah, and said yeah, he didn't yeah. like the way he was representing Asians. Some a situation happened, and, and got someone crazy. got shot. He, right. he ended up shooting somebody, and the guy ended up, I think, in a wheelchair or something. And he went to prison for that. He got out, and you know, someone I know reached out to me. Hey, this guy China Mac just got out of prison. He wants to interview. He's willing to talk about the details of all this thing because he had already done the time for it. I said, okay, cool. Like Jin was a prominent hip hop figure at one point, and yeah, this is this is a, a real story. This is what we do. Right. We did the interview. The interview did really well. You know, some time passed, you know, and I, I remember I hit him up. I said, hey, do you want to do another interview? You know, do you want to talk about like, like the Chinese mafia shit, which, which was something that never really got covered in the hip hop world very much. He's like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm willing to talk about that. Did another interview. The interview did well as well. Then he became a regular guest. And I was even paying, as regular guests, you get so when paid. So when he talked about the Chinese mafia shit, yeah. did, was he divulging the, the way that the organized cr criminal organization? <laughs> well, he was, did he was talking business? about his... His, his crew, right? You know, what I mean, he—I forgot which was the, the Flying Dragons or the Green Dragons. I forgot which one it was. Right. But he was part of a crew, and like his dad was part of a opposite crew. But he ended up cooperating, so he joined a crew that was enemies with his dad's crew because of what his dad did and, and everything else like that. It's a pretty deep story. Yeah, that sounds like a, it's, it's a movie. dope kung fu flick. It's, it's a movie. Yeah, it's, <laughs> right. it's, it's, a, it's a ill movie, and he had an interesting perspective and everything else like that. And over time, we kind of developed, you know, a friendship and a business relationship. I remember he asked me to come on his show when he was, there was a, a podcast he was doing in Queens. And my thing, like, like, to me, I'm always annoyed when you see these, like, big interviewers who get all these guests, but you never see them on other people's shows. Right. And I've always been the opposite of that. If you do my show and you have a podcast, I will come on your show if you ask me, as you could see. Right. And now, you know, you, academics. Um, Charlemagne. By the way, who's the first battle rapper that you ever put on Vlad TV? Was it you? Of course it was. <laughs> He's dying to say that. Of course it was. It you? was. He's dying to say that. Right. right. So, <laughs> so over time, me and China Mac had developed a, a relationship, a friendship, a, a business relationship. Like I said, he would come on my show and, and I would pay him uh, an appearance fee as a regular guest, like I do with all my other regular guests. Right. So I put money in his pocket. I helped build his audience, whatever else, right? So uh, I had done a show once and it was cool. Like, you know, I think that show got scrapped, whatever. Um, he had asked me to do his show, a different show that he was doing. It was a live stream show. So, uh, you know, I had, when I do podcasts, other people's shows, I often bring my own security. Like right now, there's, there's security with me. Because of the relationship. But, you know, but because of the relationship, I called him, I said, well, yo, should I bring security? He's like, no, 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 don't, 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 don't bother. It's just gonna be us. It's just gonna right. be us two. And it's a live stream. There's not gonna be anyone else there. Just come and do it. Right. You, you don't need to bring security. Right. And I'm like, okay, I believe you. <clears throat> so I showed up solo to do his show, and we're doing the live stream. And I'd never really done a live stream before. So as we're doing the show, and we're getting kind of towards the end of it. Right. Two guys burst into the room, mm -hmm. right? And they're arguing. And during the argument, one of the dudes says, I'm gonna go get my gun. And he walks past you. Well, he was like sort of like kind of behind the room, but you could hear him. He's like, yo, fuck you, blah, blah. Yo, I'm gonna get my gun. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, shit. I might be in the middle of a shootout. And I had, um, 
pepper spray on me. So if you look at the video, I, I zipped out yeah, my yeah. pocket. <laughs> Yo, Vlad goes like this. She's like. And you see my hand go in my pocket. I'm like, if Vlad got the gat, son. Yeah, I, I, didn't have, I, I didn't have a gun. I thought he had the burn on no, him. I, I was I didn't like, have a gun. Vlad was like, yeah, play if you want, nigga. I'm I, didn't have, I didn't have a gun, fun. but I had, I, had pe- I had pepper spray on it. <laughs> right. Right. Actually, spicy. And, um, and things are getting heated, whatever else. And then it turns out to be a prank. Right. He throws the confetti in the, the air. He throws the confetti in the air. And it's, it's a prank. And right? you're sitting there looking very awkward. Because you're like... Well, you know, you, you don't know how you're going to react in a situation like that. Yeah, right? this, this is silly uh, <clears throat> I could have ran out scared. Right. Right. I could have pepper sprayed one of the dudes and then possibly gotten sued. I think you should have pepper sprayed China Mac. <laughs> I could have pepper sprayed China Mac. <laughs> China Mac. Like, like, I, I, I don't know what would have happened. Everybody. <clears throat> I don't know what, what would have happened. Just get the... Just get the closest guy. Like, get the closest yeah. guy. Right. I have pepper spray on me, right? So, and the problem is, is that this is on live. Right. So right. everybody's watching. You can't act. You can't, you can't, you act can't act say, you know, listen, I've had lots of interviews where I'd be like, you know, I remember I did Breakfast Club. There was a certain set of questions they asked me and I said, take that part out because it's going to cause some problems down the line. Like, cool. We got you. People do that to me. They do right. an interview. They say, hey, listen, when you ask me about this, can you take that out? Right. I got you. you know, right. Especially if it's not out yet, yo, no, no problem. But when it's live, you can't do that. You're, you're, you're in a yeah, vulnerable... It's, it's, it's there. Someone a, is recording. You're in a vulnerable position you, because, let me tell you, as this was happening, the videos are now being uploaded to YouTube of the situation as it's happening. Facts. You got guys like Chick Smooth who, who will... Record everything yeah, live. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, so it's being recorded. It's being re-uploaded as we speak. <laughs> right. Luckily, I, I managed to keep my composure, and I ended up looking okay in it. I didn't run. Like I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to possibly do something, but let's see how this plays out. You know, but who knows? Like, if he had approached me, I could have possibly done something. Right. And then if I could have possibly, back I could have possibly gotten it. sued by the guy. How? Right. Or. How would you get sued? You didn't know. It was a, you man. Know it was people a sue for anything. That people, mean you sue won't for anything. Sue. people sue for anything. People sue for. Let's say he had eye. Let's say I, I permanently fucked up his eye. Right. He's blind in one eye. No, you should have known. It's a goofy ass show. Yeah. Now, you know, now he still got he, he may not win, but he can still sue. <laughs> he, he could win. Right. He may not win. You, you never know. Still like, still I, know. or 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 I could have grabbed a fucking item and, and fucking bashed a dude in the face. Like, I, you don't know what's gonna happen, but like like he's talking about. Guns are in the fucking building. I saw you saying. Because I said, turn the shit off. Like, yeah, cut yo. the stream. I, cut said, the stream. I said, cut the stream. Like, like, what the fuck are we still recording? Well, why are we still recording right now? It ends up being a prank. Right. Right. He throws the confetti out. Confetti ah, out to joke, right? I thought you was And pussy. then, you know, afterwards, I was sort of like, <laughs> I'm a little shaken up by the whole thing. We go and have dinner, and I'm like, ah, you know, I looked okay in this, whatever. But then, as the more I thought about it, I'm like, you thought I was pussy, nigga. It wasn't so much that you thought I was pussy. It was really more like you put me in a in an awkward position. And you're a CEO. And and I'm a CEO and I've been looking out for you and I've mm-hmm. been doing only positive things for you. Right. I've never done this to you on any level. All right. I've done is promote you, put you in the you best know, light. In, in, a, in a better in, a, in the best light. Now I remember he did an interview about this. He said, Well, you know. Uh, Vlad sometimes asked uncomfortable questions, and I remember he said uh, he put up a title about Dave East, and when I was around Dave East, it was uncomfortable for me, so I felt like, you know, let's put him in an uncomfortable position and see what happens. But my whole thing is like, number one, these are pre-recorded interviews. You could have always asked me to take it out. If you saw a title that ever made you feel uncomfortable, you could have reached out to me and asked me to change the title. I don't have that option when it's a live fucking stream. Right. You're putting... And, and I would never put you in a position where he there's guns, where, where, where there's the threat of guns around. Right. There's a lot. There's a big difference between asking someone a question they may or may not want to answer, as opposed to saying, "I got a gun around and and it might go off." Right. And you might get shot in the head. Head. You gotta make it back to your family. I gotta make it back. So that was his, you know, justification for doing it. And I basically said. Smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.